In this video, we will help you to create a simple layout for V-carve engraving and cut the on the CNC router, so you would be able to do it easily by yourself. Welcome to Watson. Subscribe and join our community. Let's get started. Step 1. Creating file. We will be working in the Aspire Vectric software. First, you need to enter the workpiece dimensions into your program. Click on the Create a New File. Once the file opens, a window with several sections will appear on the right. The first section is where we are choosing the type of processing. There are three options. Select the first one for now. Second section, Job Size. Enter your parameters here. It's also important to set the measurement system to millimeters as Rich Auto only recognizes them. Otherwise, all your calculations could be disrupted. Next, select the position of the Z0. There are two options, from the table or from the material surface, choosing the whichever is more convenient for you. You also need to select the XY datum position. Our engineers recommend choosing the bottom left corner since it's more convenient. The electrical cabinet from which the wire runs to the DSP controller is located on the left, and the wire length is limited. Sometimes, it can be useful to set the center as a datum position, especially the workpiece is round. Another thing to note, if you secure the workpiece to the table first, you can move the spindle to it and apply the Use Offset option in the program, entering the data from the DSP controller based on the spindle's position. Modeling resolution and appearance are purely for the project visualization with the software, nothing more. You can choose the different parameters based on your computer's performance. Finally, click OK. Step 2. Layout. Today we will show how to make a simple signboard with the text without downloading anything from the internet. In the created file, select Draw Text. In the special window, type Welcome and Customized Text. Next, the text needs to be resized to fit the workpiece. Choose the second option in Transform Objects, set the required parameters, and click Apply. Then, center the text using the Align Select Object option and choose the Center Alignment. Now, create a contour for the signboard, which will be used to cut it from the workpiece. In Create Vectors, select Rectangle. In the Corner tab, Choose the second option and set the radius for that corner. Then set the dimensions. Ours will be 420 by 86. Select the newly created contour and center it, just like the text. Step 3 and Mills and Settings. It's time to set the machine parameters. For the letters, we will need a V bit. This is the simplest operation which doesn't require any additional calculations. Click on to bus. In the operation section, choose the corresponding V curves option. Now for engraving tips. There are two ways to set it. The first option, manually enter the value in the flat depth field. The second option, uncheck the box and let the program calculate the depth itself. How does it work? The V bit has 90 degree angle and the bit will cut into the material until its edge reach the letter contours. Next, move on the tool selection. In the tool section, click the select. The tool database manually will open. We will need to know the diameter of the end mill, specifically the diameter of its wettest part. Our instrument has a diameter of 32 mm. You also need to specify the number of cutting edges and make sure that units are set to the millimeters. Let's move on to cutting parameters. First, cut depth per pass. You need to set this if you check the box. If you didn't, it won't be used. And the program will calculate everything automatically. We don't change final and clearance steps. Second, spindle speed. Since we are working with MDF, we will set it to the 24,000 RPM for engraving so the removed material turns into dust. Third, feed rate, 10 meter per minute. Fourth, plug rate, 6 meter per minute. Fifth, if your machine has an automatic tool change system, select the tool number where the add mill is stored. If not, leave the field alone. Now click the apply and then select. Finally, just click calculate. 
To make sure that everything is set right, you may use the preview AI toolpath function. Let's return to the 2D view. Now we need to set the parameters for the contour. We will be using the VBit again to achieve the nice edge. Select the 2D profile toolpath. Now set the depth at which we want to cut into the material. In our case, this is 5mm. We will move on to selection again, where all the parameters remain the same. Click the select. Since we want to create a clean contour, select on in the machine vectors. The other two options create a sharp outside or rounded inside corners. Now click calculate. You will see that everything looks good. And we can move on to the final step, setting and cutting the parameter for the resulting contour. Open the 2D profile toolpath again, but this time set the depth for the entire workpiece which is 20mm in our case. In the machine vectors window, select the outside to maintain the dimensions of the specified rectangle. Now we will need a different tool and add mill with three flutes. We can see its parameters on the screen. This tool will be able to cut through all 20mm in one pass. Select it. Since we were removing so much material in one pass, we need to add the tabs to hold the sign in place and prevent it from being thrown onto the add mill, which could cause defects. This is done in the add tabs to the two pass menu. Set the parameters to 3 multiply 3 mm. Click edit. We will need four such tabs. Click add tabs. There, they've appeared. Next, click the calculate and check the result. In the right window, you will see all three types of machining. That's it. Now we need to save our layout using the save toolpath function. If your machine, like the one in our example, doesn't have an automatic tool change system, select the third option from the list to save all types of machining as separate files. This is necessary so you can change the tool. The key thing in this process is not to forget to reset the zero point for the new tool. The file should be saved in the G-Code RX format. This format is compatible with DSP Rich Auto Controller. Finally, load the file into the control panel and run the program. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, our engineers will help, or contact us via email. Check out other videos on the topics in our playlist, CNC Router Guides. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss more tutorials. This is Watson, see you next time.